You can visit our website anytime you like, rte.ie forward slash Mooney, or send an email right now about anything at all to Mooney at rte.ie. Yes, very welcome along this Sunday evening to Mooney Goes Wild. Richard Collins and Annie Launa are here with me in studio. And you two guys are just back from a hot date in Poland. Are you having an affair? What's going on? <laughs> what are you doing? He doesn't even go to tell you on the air whether we're having an affair sure, why or not. not? Yeah, well, my, our spouses came along to keep an eye on us. Uh, I see. You know, what were you doing in Poland? Tell our listeners. Well, we visited two places, two very fine places. One it was the Breja Marshes. The Mar- Breja Marshes are probably the largest marsh left in Europe. And they are quite enormous. For instance, this, the Phoenix Park is seven square kilometres in extent. Now, it's a very big park. But this particular marsh is 600 square kilometres in extent. So it's an enormous place. And it's full of birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians and, it, then, and plants. And then we went to the place that I had really always wanted to go all my life, which is the Bielowicka Forest, which is the last place in Europe of native woodlands that's been here since the Ice Age. And this remaining bit of it is now on the border between Poland and Belarus. The borders of Poland have changed over the years. At one point it was all in Poland, but it was kept because it was the hunting grounds of the Tsar of Russia mm-hmm. who came there and therefore didn't want anything anything changed where he could hunt bison because this is the last haunt of the European bison. And then of course when Russia fell into disfavour the Nazis kept it as their hunting grounds. So the area has been kind Presumably of Presumably you went with a guy, did you? Yes, to, oh, yes. to the strict place. I mean, did you, we did you organise it through somebody here in Ireland? We did, did yeah. We ought to organise it through tourism. Because people might want to go and they might want to do Tourism Pure, this. a fellow called Barry Murphy over in Castlebar organises tours like this. And he organised it. And we went, flew to, to Warsaw ourselves. And then we were picked up there by a minibus with the guide and brought from Warsaw to the first place to the marshes for three days and then to the woodlands for three more days. One is about 100 kilometres, 150 kilometres south of the other. We were put up in local banities, lovely food, all accommodation and all all of the guiding morning, noon and night. We were up at half three to look at European bison. We were out on the river at night looking at the beavers because there's beavers, European beavers there as well. It was a great six days.